Hello, once again, it's Friday in Studio B with another VPX table showcase. This is JP Salas table. It's a remake of another table. I'll get into that here in a little bit, but it's Mickey Mouse and Steamboat Willie. This one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's, uh... Drop a point in here. And let's hit the start button. See what we got going on here. Now it's only got one scoreboard on the direct V2 back back glass. But if you hit the start a second time, right now I'm showing 12,300, and I'm starting ball two. Now if you hit your start button again, if I'd have done that before I started the ball in play, after I scored that, it would have gone to the next player's score, which would have, on the first ball, would have gone to zero. Now, it doesn't have anything in the, it's not that extravagant that it doesn't have anything else in the back glass that shows you how many credits or what balls in play or what players up, so you'd have to keep track. But still, what a cool, cool table. Uh, reminiscent, uh, vintage, nostalgic, retro. Mickey Mouse and Steamboat Willie. I just fell in love with it. Black and white theme. It's a lot of fun. Walt Disney. Now, I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but I'm from the Kansas City, Missouri area. And, uh, Walt Disney... His original home and old garage back behind it where he first drew Mickey Mouse is right here in Kansas City. I've actually visited that home. I actually got hired to do to work some work on that house one time and didn't even realize uh, what I was walking into. And there was a gentleman that lived there and he started telling me the history of the house and the uh, you know, the guy, I, I had no reason not to believe him, but uh, he did show me the uh, historic marker on it and uh, a document by uh, Disney Studios or Disney Corporation that was on the front stating that it was, in fact, Walt Disney's home and where he created Mickey Mouse. So, very cool little story there. Right here in the Kansas City area. Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie. Oh, there we drain. Well, it looks like we did some pretty good scoring there. In the description will be the link to the download where I'll have everything, the media files, in their proper folders. Everything will be set up in the folders. So if you download that 7Z file and unzip it, you'll have, first you'll have a text file that will give you uh, the credits to JP Salads. It will also have the uh, link to where you download these files and then it'll have a couple folders in there that you will drag and drop and if you're not sure how to do that look at some of my past videos you just drag and drop those two folders into your pinball emporium folder wherever it may be on your system I don't know what drive you put yours on but there's a pinball emporium folder 
you drag that collections folder and that emulators folder into there it'll populate everything right where you need it it's named properly because uh, everything has to be named just right for it to work in pinball and pinball point. 130,000 so I'm gonna go back and show them yeah 130,850 not bad ding ding table Steamboat Willie. So check out the description down below. I'm not going to go into a lot about uh, the Dragon Drop. I show that on past videos. Just a quick video for this Friday. Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like it. And uh, subscribe if you like the content. I try to put one of these out every Friday. Thanks everybody. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye now.